Right, this is another short update on the uh, aquaponics system. As you can see, it's going pretty crazy in that central bed. Cucumbers have pretty just about got to the top. Corn's already shooting out at the top there. And I still don't have any fish whatsoever. The last few days I've completely stopped putting any sea sole, urine, worm castings, anything in the water. There's still I'm still like 160 parts per million nitrates. Ammonia is obviously did nothing. And same with the nitrates. Although the pH has gone up above it's like 7.7 .7 I think it was yesterday. 7.8 or whatever. And this hot house is stinking hot today. It's supposed to be about 40 degrees top. That's 2.30 in the afternoon and I'm sweating like a pig just standing in here. Yeah, I just thought I'd give a quick update. I'm absolutely amazed at how things can grow with virtually nothing. I'm actually debating whether I'll bother getting fish in the system or not. It'll just complicate things. But, um, don't know yet. Doesn't really need it, obviously. Here I've got a whole bunch of different Asian salad greens that I'm constantly killing. I don't know if they're aphids or... Let's see if I can get a close-up. You might be able to see them on this leaf. No, it's just too blurry, but... I'm constantly wiping these little buggers off. I've been catching lady lady beetles and whatnot from the garden and letting them go in here, but there's just too much for them to consume. Actually, if you look at this, this leaf is absolutely infested. Mmm, extra protein. But I'm basically just wiping these leaves clean and killing all the little bugs. But it's not enough. Got to look at. Um, I'm, I'm making up some compost tea at the moment anyway, so I might try foliage spraying with that to see if that can help. Got a couple of uh, strawberries, quite a few actually. There's quite a few new ones coming through. Broccolis are getting a bit hammered as well by bugs. I'm constantly taking, uh, killing off um, these little buggers. Little green caterpillars. Although some of them are doing totally fine. Some are just getting absolutely hammered like this one. big one. I suppose once I get fish I can just chuck these straight in the tank. Anyway, pest problems. I had extremely worse pest problems with broccolis and cauliflowers outside. I'm still getting them in here but at least I'll be able to grow a few. So, corn's doing alright. Same pest problems with these Asian greens here. Seems to be only the Asian greens. Got a whole heap of rock melons. I'm just going to feed them through the greenhouse all over the place. I really need to prune these cucumbers back to a couple of fruit per, per vine to get some really good cucumbers. But Phenomenal growth, I can't believe it. I don't know, I put a whole bunch of rock dust in as well, so I'm thinking that's really helped.
but I haven't put much in the system probably for the last week. Next lot of seedlings to go in. I'm probably going to opt for jade perch in this tank and I'm going to get a smaller tank that will act as like a sump down in here which is going to uh, have red claw in it. I just thought I'd show a little silencer I've put on the the Venturi. All it is is an ice cream container full of old socks or rags, whatever you want. You can hear the difference quite a bit. The um, the airflow hasn't seemed to have been really impeded much at all. Still plenty of flow. Much more quiet. Basically the red claw tank, <clears throat> I'll just put an overflow up the top of the tank here. It's basically going to be around about 300 litre tank. It'll slot right in that gap. So this tank overflows into that. This will have red claw in it. And then along this a bit here and along this wall it's going to be strawberries in PVC pipes. And this little sump tank is going to feed that. And the strawberries will just drain back in to the main fish tank. The greenhouse is completely sealed now except for this small triangle at the top which has got shade cloth over it. Basically it's a chicken coop next door. Aside from that, it's completely sealed. I had the water temp temp uh, thermometer out and it was 50 degrees yet yesterday. It's ridiculous hot in here. But luckily I've got a vent at the top. 